This instructional video will show you how to create an animated slideshow. Very simple, but still there's animation in Dreamweaver. You're required to create either three standard slideshows, and that's what this instructional video is about, or embed three carousels with a minimum of three images and captions. It's up to you. Your first step is to navigate to the website found on the screen in front of you. Once you navigate to the site, I want you to notice a couple things. This is called Web3. Web3 is a site that I use all the time. It's got the best and most straightforward coding activities and examples of code that you can use in a website that I've found anywhere. It's the best, it's nonprofit, and it's also connected to an organization that manages the web, the entire web. I recommend you might want to get to know this site. Anyway, once you go here, you'll be taken directly to some code that I've saved for you. So, highlight all of the code that's on the left-hand side and press Control-C for copy. I've highlighted the text and I've pressed C, Control-C to copy. Now I'm going to navigate back to a page in Dreamweaver and Design View. Then I'm going to locate where I want my slideshow to be in an existing page. Where I want it to be is where the numbers 2015 Scion TC are. I highlight the text, making sure that I'm not highlighting any unnecessary code. In this case, just some tags, the H1 opening an H1 closing tag and then I copy the many lines of code I've taken from W3 school site. Once you paste the text I want you to scroll down until you find the code that um, sets up each image and then references excuse me references the source file I think all of you should be pretty comfortable at this point with finding these lines of code. And as you can see, these are not images that are in this site. These are just placeholder images. So right now, I need to switch out these file names so that the correct source will be referenced. Once we click into the code and specifically to the reference of the source, what you'll see is the Properties Inspector. Win, uh, window will change and then it'll show the image as a corrupted image because this image is not located in this site so it shows it as a corrupted image. Your job now is to take the pointer and point to the image that you want in the slideshow. Continue doing that until every single one of the four references have been updated to an actual image within the slideshow. I press F12 to push the site into my Google um, Chrome or in this case it's Firefox actually. Now as you can see because I didn't copy any extraneous code, the code that I've put fits nicely into the already set up web page. And then the title is there which you'll want to change and then the forward and back arrows. And this will meet the requirement. It will also give you an opportunity to have some interaction for the people who visit your site. Okay, good luck.